All right, what well, go on, people? So today we are going to change the master cylinder. The reason why is because this one, this one seems like it has some problem. The reason why you don't change your master cylinder is if it's either you break, you pump the brake, and it get pressure, but then after a while it lose pressure. Or if the brake I get pressure and it continuously a, a wall. So that means is the back brake are lock up. So them there are some signs that your master cylinder may need to change. Could be the caliper. But we change them well. I'm in my situation, I know that it, it's a master cylinder because the cylinder it, it gives you some evidence. And sometimes you might see the cylinder leaking like down here, so that's evidence that it needs to change. You see me? Boom, tools are you gonna need this are for the yang yang bike. Them well, not really, you know, yeah, them little flatty bike. Yeah, basically, the tool this is a this is a 10 millimeter um socket. 12 spanner um, and an 8 8 millimeter. 8 this oh no this are 10 yeah this are 10 so you don't need the 8 so just them yeah. 10 and the 12 you see me so the 12 fit here so right there and here so all right take out the side cover you see it and what we do first, we pull this. We pull the what's this name again? The brake line. Okay, if you ever take them off and try pull the brake line. Yeah, if you ever pull them off and try pull the brake line, a problem. So pull the brake line first. Boom bad! So we just shut the bolt. Mm. All right, so that makes things much easier. You see it? We're not gonna break through the this for really worry about. Just continue pull this. All right. So now that we have this out now, put this over here. So put it up. And if, if you take off them something, I don't use a new one. Then let them just stay. All right. So you can see break through it start run out. Wow. Yeah, the clip down here. So, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Oh, man, I don't know this in a this in a you. Oh, yeah, forgot to say we need what, what is name again? Pliers. Yeah, one little clip right there, so. Right there, so. Zoom in. Yeah, so you have that little clip here. We have to pull this. No, me have to pull it here. I'm very afraid, huh? I sweat it, I say. If it has sweat, then I eat it because if you lose pressure, then because my problem right now is pressure, you know, it has drop pressure. What do you look like? Are you so? Yeah, you're full of fluid like that, you know? Yeah. No, I'm just here, sir. Are you so? That means I'm going to change this then. Lock back up, sir. Lock it up. Alright, so I'm going to connect back this. Yeah, sure. Now I can show a little. Side here, a four side razor. <laughs> <laughs> Every man can't get a side. Uh-uh. Every side. Yeah, you could, you could shot bottom to a razor. You look a shot bottom. Pair it to the side. <laughs> four side razor, you know. But a two side can you use. Mm -hmm. You tend to use the four side then. So, but you already saw one. That better wash it then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, that's a cool left. Come to the shadow. No, I did want to change it. I did, did still want to change it. So why you change it if you need to change it? Sometimes oh. sometime you talk too much on Shaggy. Yeah, I'm 
you hear me, man. Trust my brick food, man. <laughs> Trust my brick food, man. Cool. Yo, yeah. No, you can't throw black fruit on this, brother. Bad, wrenchy. Oh, okay. mm. It tightened down really tight, you know, so the pressure you want on it, brother. No, no, that you shouldn't have leak and it tightened down so. Mm. You know, say, wash it definitely gone. The man might buy a bread of cheap cheese. Yeah. Are you feeding it, feeding it, That's a skin so thin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, man. Yellow, yeah, man. Don't pin up, Did you like pork with? Yeah, yeah. That one there. Let me see. Yeah, come up, Yeah, come up. You buy it, all right, you know? Oh. Alright, so change the plans. No, but I change the pump. I just change the buckle. I will figure out say we have a little leakage in you know, the system. Them I got the Them fall. Yeah, man. I think one time, I just slip the man for nothing, you know. Man, out there we work for. Man, out there kill people for money, but if a family. I kill people for nickel and nothing for you. Mm. Yeah. Don't worry, you look like one of my friends, and I'm going to shoot like a man say, you look like one of you, and I'm going to kill already. Mm-mm. Yeah, I'm going to kill you again. Say, he was watching up. I'm going to kill you again. I'm going to kill you again. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we back him up. We're going to see him back up, buddy. Back it up, back it up, back it up. You know that TikTok video, the shako? Hi, I'm Warrior. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Oh you have a wristband? No, no. Why well, you can't get in? You need a wristband. For the free. Man said, do you have a wristband? Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Man, so like that. I say, I say it's the upright? Yeah, don't tighten it too much. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. <laughs> Blow your skirt. You know, say, you know, say, me didn't think I want a woman. Brother, which part are you want trim, brother? Is it? Which part are you want trim? <laughs> you! Back it up, back it up! Alright, so I'm supposed to have some ear in that line. So, what I do now? I'm going to pump the back brake and watch the fluid level. So, basically, this. <laughs> Mommy, bring your alcohol, get cool. Go so boops. So, man, in can chat you. Wait, no me, yo, yo, no me, do you figure it out? To myself, all right. <laughs> all right, people. So, how to bleed a back break? So, the first thing that you do, get your tools. Alright, so you need an 8mm spanner and what you do Right, it's a 10, sorry Alright, so in order to do a brake bleed you need an 8mm spanner A spanner would work good What is a spanner? This is a spanner This 8mm spanner or you can also use a 8mm socket In my case, we can't find my spanner so I use one socket you put that on the nipple right here, the bleeder nipple. Turn the camera. So, fit it on it. 
bleed a nipple like that and then try to catch everything now on so what you want to do here's a process so you pump the brake a couple times pump it and once you pump it you hold it down like this so once you hold it down then you have to open the nipple right here right you open it while also holding down the back brake don't don't release this because if you release this while this open then you have to introduce air into the line all right so let me get a rag so we can do this clean all right so i'm put a little rag underneath there so and bad my shirt so here's how we're gonna do it now pump it hold it down open the nipple all right i wish i had the socket i wish i had the spanner to show you guys a lot of times when you open the nipple right here you will hear ear coming out right and you'll also like see it coming out with the actual brake fluid whenever whenever you're doing this process and then at that uh, at a point the ear is gonna stop coming out and you just uh, see the fluid running out only when the fluid only running out and also when you have firm pressure in the brake then you know that the brake is bled properly fully bled so wipe this off let's do this now so pump open close oops so only got the brake this that's why i like the spanner and the spanner close release pump also while you're doing this process you want to make sure that you monitor the fluid level so monitor it whenever it's going low then you just top up brake fluid in the the, the, um, the cap easy as that and then you just continue the process until all the air is eliminated and until they have firm pressure in the brake all right guys good news i'm gonna find um this me used to use this this little hose and put it on to the nipple i'm gonna find my eight so i'm gonna find i find my eight so i can show you exactly what i'm gonna show you so put the eight on i'm gonna put on this so this helps me to reuse the fluid that's it put it on like that so kind of short still but i can make this work huh? I'm just put it down in this like so. You see me? Yeah man. You have, to, you have to find means and ways to make things easier, you know. Instead of creating a mess, just use this read. Just go back in at the fluid. So we're gonna continue to pump and make this work out. If you guys take a look at the line, you can see the air bubbles. So all that is air. All that is air. So at this point the brake start get more pressure and also the air come out of line. 